spirituality is a mystery embedded in the DNA of life, revealing, revolving and realizing. The concept of it all can be traced back to the time of human evolution, propelling all the creation towards a belief in a higher almighty God. Religion and spirituality have been often called as important predictors of existential well-being, happiness and self-actualization. Intellectuals have persistently argued between how spirituality and religious beliefs differ. Marx called religion as the opium of people. Exploring the advent of civilization with the rays of knowledge. The expressions of these concepts on the canvas of time still leave us with a hindrance. gives meaning to our life and makes one spiritual. You serve your partner in the ways of law of Shotal Dharma. For me, this is what life is meant for. You may call it spiritual. Some seek answers behind the closed doors of superstitions and dogmas and call it spirituality. Others look beyond this closeness and satiate their queries in the openness around, reaching out to the unexplored spaces. So does religion and spirituality close doors to your subconscious or does it open new horizons towards the unexplored spaces of the path and travel? Many philosophers have persistently argued between how spirituality and religious beliefs differ. We are all spiritual beings in human forms. According to me, Krishna, the father of all living entities, puts light on this aspect in Bhagavad Gita. One can find the meaning of one's life just by taking the shelter of the scriptures. Religion brings a lot of problems. <laughs> no. really. So, a religious world is a problematic one? Well, the people who are in charge of religion might have problems, and then the people who follow into their question might have more problems. And intolerance and religion go together a lot. We all dance to the rhythm of our own soul, dancing on a subtle tune of life, whirling around with a thirst within. Nature withers away their sorrows and paints their life with its own colors. The soul is never quiet, even when it is silent. Eternally, it plays a melody like that of a pulsating heart. At the moment of acute joy or sorrow, men and women throughout history have reached out for musical instruments to say the unsaid, to express the unexpressible. When minds are taught with emotional entanglement, there seems to be an instinct to harness through the vibrations in the air that we call music. The mellow of spirituality pervades every sphere of life. For many, simplicity is what they ask from life. A small touch and a few steps together along with the path makes it complete. While the new generation seeks exploration as the means to find their lost soul, adventure is the shade of shelter in this fast-paced world of consumerism. Their slogan is, live freely, who cares for spirituality anyway? Our relations revolve around music. 
This is the song of our life. We call it spirituality. Life walks on its bindings with many questions staring at the face of it. Seeking answers on the purpose of life, they move on. Destination is not what they look for, but the journey is that on which they focus. The soul travels its own journey, relentlessly, unstoppably and invincibly. It's the journey within, the journey of the soul.